This video is brought to you by Sailing World and SailingWorld.com. And they will race against the other winners of the other new guys uh, that win around the country during the year. So the pick is So Travis Odenbach won the uh, J24 class here at the St. Pete Nude and also the overall trophy. A, a tough regatta. Uh, three races today, one race on Friday and very light air. Let's go back to that race on Friday. You guys had a long delay. How do you guys keep focused in those situations? Because that's sort of the race where you could lose the whole regatta if you had a bad race in really light air. Well, we just kind of stay on top of each other and each time uh, any sort of wind comes up, we go sailing and make sure that our heads are in the game the whole time. That's that's pretty much all you can do in that situation. And how did it work out for you? How did that first race go on Friday? Wasn't bad. It was a tough. Uh, we had a tough start and got back to fifth. And um, you know, the big thing is not losing it on the first day. And I think that's what we we accomplished. So. And what about today? You went out there, obviously totally different conditions. 15 to 20 out of the southwest, west southwest. Tell us about sailing the J24. It looked like most people were going with the blade. Was that your call? Uh, the first race we had the Genoa up, uh, uh, North 3DL, and then. That after that, the second the second upwind was all blade. So we switched to that and stayed the blade the rest of the day, and it was it was fun. I liked I liked the big breeze, so it was good good conditions. Seems like Tampa Bay seems very uh, interesting in big breeze because it gets stirred up very quickly. It's so shallow. The waves are short and steep and and very deep. Right. Well, how do you uh, manage the J24 in those conditions? Uh, I keep the boat very powered up going upwind, especially on starboard tack today. It was all straight into the chop. So if the boat's powered up, uh, hopefully you can rumble faster than the other guys. That's about it. And what, what else was working for you today? It seemed a lot of incoming current. A lot so of incoming current. I don't have to play um, the right side. It was, it was all right. With the, with the breeze and, and everything, it was all go right. Downwind, we just worked the boat as hard as we could. Um, as, trying to keep the boat surfing as, as much as possible. And, and the J24, that's pretty hard to do. <laughs> tell, me, tell, me, tell me a little bit about your J24 experience. You're from the Rochester Yacht Club, is that right? Yeah, that's right. How I'm from uh, Rochester Yacht Club. I've been there my whole life. I've been there. And I just moved to Newport, Rhode Island last year and uh, got in a 24 fleet there, the Fleet 50. And uh, probably the last two years, I won North Americans last year. And now I'm trying to make a run for the Rochester World. So. All right, all right. So it's looking like a big event will be a bit of a homecoming for you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right, so, so, so last uh, last year I was talking to someone who knows Rochester pretty well, and they say, all it is is go left. Is, is there any truth to that rumor? It is. It's always left, but every time I sail a regatta there, it's always right. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> tell, me, tell me a little bit about the team you had on board down here. Um, a lot of these guys came from Annapolis, and they've sailed together a ton. Uh, Ian Coleman. Jarrett Herring, Josh Putnam, and uh, Patrick Wilson. Um, it's kind of the young crew that I had compared to the midwinters, where I had the uh, older crew, I like to say, and they did great. Uh, they've sailed the 24 for the last, I think they've sailed 10 years, so they know the boat better than I do, and it was a pleasure to have them on the boat. So, so the new crew for you, it sounds like. Yeah, never sailed with them before. Uh, except for this regatta, so. So when you have that sort of a situation, uh, I mean, the J24 is a fairly easy boat. Everyone's it's been around long enough. People know their positions. Right. They know their job. But what do you do to kind of get in sync with someone right off the gap? How do you got? How do you get on the same page with people for that first race? Well, you've got to continue to be compatible with your trimmer. That's the main thing on, on those boats. And it was tough the first race. I think uh, the way we talk to each other is different than the normal trimmer I have. And he really picked up his game, and he did an excellent job. And that's, you know, then the tactician, how much they're feeding you. Uh, I like to be told what to do a lot. And when you stop talking, I get all crazy. So uh, they did a really good job at kind of babysitting me. And that's what I need on that boat. What's the key? Let's, let's go today, trimming the blade, which is, you know, it's tough in the J24 because it's not a sail you use very often. Right. Uh, how do you, what, what is your theory on trimming and getting the most out of that sail? And how do you set the boat up for it compared to... You have the Geno up, so when you go to the blade, you're losing a significant amount of horsepower. How do you change your rig settings? Um, the rig settings are pretty much the same uh, for both blade and Genoa and that big breeze. But we'll push the car forward a little bit, trim a little tighter on the uh, blade, 
and uh, it's in and out three inches with the main and the the, uh, the blade, you know, simultaneously all the time. So that's pretty much how we rumble through the waves. Uh, it's really difficult with a blade, though. Total it's different game. Difficult to to keep the boat going in the waves because it's because you don't have the power. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And what about downwind? Give us a few thoughts on how you were making the boat go downwind today. Any special techniques? or I mean, you kind of sail by the lee, so you're almost on the rum line in these sort of conditions. Right. Um, well, I like to do a lot of S-turns -tur and making sure I'm always getting on a wave. Um, and the trimmer has to pump exactly when I pump the main every time we hit a wave. And it's just it's all about working the boat as much as possible. A lot of people slack off, and that's where they lose the speed, and I think... You know, these boats are meant to be worked hard. They're a physical boat, and that's what what wins regattas right there. Right. So the, the toughest the toughest decision for you may be, you know, who you're going to take to the British Virgin Islands. you got a new crew. I assume you'll have a regular crew for J24s. It sounds like you got a lot of choices. you got the guys you sailed with last weekend. These it's guys be, that sailed this tough. weekend are pretty fun, so I'm assuming they'll want to go. Uh, the other guys are a little more serious, and these guys had a blast, so i would probably take these guys. All right. Great. Well, Travis, congratulations and thanks for coming down and sailing here. Thank you. I had a great time.